I remember uh, there was there was an eviction that was for the railway slum dwellers. And because of the strength of women participating in profiling, enumeration, and saying we will fight this eviction. Fortunately, because of their power, they were able to engage with the, with the city of Nairobi and to be able to stop the eviction. I remember yesterday when we were coming from the airport, Joseph was showing us the houses that are already built for the people who were relocated, not evicted. Because according to the government, they were supposed to be evicted. But because of the power of savings of the women and the power of the federation, they changed the concept of eviction into relocation. And they educated the communities to understand why should they be relocated from where they are staying. And then this project, I think, is a very big project. Internationally, it is recognized. Because when we go to these international platforms, we always give best practices. <coughs> I'm sorry. Best practices from different countries. And the railway relocation of Nairobi is the best practice whereby most of the member states start to understand that evictions is not a solution. But engagement and talking to the people about relocation if the area is totally not good for housing it is important i think the example of what kenya has done with this relocation process it has created an impact for federation of kenya to influence the government of kenya to understand that working with people brings more result that's why that's why also in is it can be can what the housing project. Because of that, and because of working together as the Federation people, we were able, I remember when we went to Kambimoto, when we started this housing development, a lot of structures whereby I said, guys, do you think we will be able to build in this, pro in this place? Because they have to demolish some of the structures and rebuild. It was a very tough job. I, I couldn't believe that we could have had those houses in that area, but it happened. I, I, I think that when you are from a distance and you don't understand the Federation, you will never think that there's anything happening in Nairobi, but come, or in Kenya per se, but come visit, let the people take you there. You will see the difference that the Federation of Kenya has brought to the communities.